baseball on the show from the bank citizens bank park in philadelphia a good one on tap for you this afternoon between the minnesota twins and the los angeles angels of anaheim and now welcome your major los league angeles baseball on the show Angel. starts now that'll bring up luis arrives he will lead this one off today The 2-1 home. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Great afternoon for baseball here. 71 degrees, the temperature at first pitch. The 2-2. Slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Boy, not what you want coming out of the gate as a pitcher, right? You don't want to have to show all of your pitches this early on in the game. That's a quality at bat. And what does it make you do as a pitcher? You have to use a lot of your pitches. And the more pitches a hit sees, the better chance they have to make good contact. The 2-1 home is swung on and missed for strike number two. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. Three balls and two strikes to the twin center strikes. fielder. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. This is foul right side. The next 3-2. Hit on the ground out to short. Reined in. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. The second Into the box now. Or hit Polanco. I got two one to Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Counts even two and two for Polanco. Buxton, base runner at first with one out. Fastball laid off two. well below the knees. Got to believe that runner from first is going to be in motion, especially in this situation. As an offensive player, just hit something hard because those defenders are going to be moving. And a That's fastball ball. misses there. Ball four. Striding forward now is the DH, Josh Donaldson. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Now the 2-1 is a ball below the zone. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like 3-1. and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. Full count, three balls and two strikes to the Twins' DH. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Out of the stretch, the 3-2 pitch home. Runners are at first and second with one away. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. Up next for Minnesota, Max Kepler. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. He appears to be having some issues with pitch command to start the game. He's dealing with two guys on him. Oh, what a stop on the slide. Got him. That was exceptional. He got the out and prevented the runner from having a chance to score. And stepping in, Brandon Marsh. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Two balls and a strike to the Angels' leadoff hitter. Fly ball right down the line and left. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. No one on with one down. And that'll bring up a former gold glover. Here's Juan Ligares. Too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. 
what pitch recognition right there. 90% of the guys are going fishing after that nasty slider. Throw in time at first for route number two. So now to the plate, Phil Gosselin. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. And we wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. And now here is Miguel Sano. He'll get us started in the top of the second. The one two. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout, and there's one gone. That is, that is. Now one down with now the bases empty, one. and that'll bring in the speedy Nick, Nick Gordon. Gordon. The 1-1. One, one. That's ball two. Strike taken as the curveball drops into the bottom part of the zone. Put that in the memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. Two two pitches fouled away. No score here as we play inning number two. Again, another foul ball. on the ground out to second. In time to first and there are two away. So now into the box is Mitch Garver. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. So now to the plate will be Andrelton Simmons. Man at first after the two out walk. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Garver, the runner at first with two gone. Hit high and deep out to left field. And that is off the wall. Garver is on his way home. Now the relay home. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Now back. Luis. At the plate now, Luis Arias pulled toward right center field. Right fielder is on the run. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. be the four hole hitter Jared Walsh the one one this is hit the other way out toward left field left fielder is on the move and he tracks it down nice play for the first out. Next, here is Jack Mayfield. One out, nobody on. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. High in the air out to center field. Buxton is camped under this one. And that's out number two. So stepping that in is good. Jose Rojas the right trying to make something happen okay. with two gone in the bottom of the second. Rojas. Now a fastball swung on and missed and that is out number three.
third set to get underway and that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Byron Buxton. Now here it comes. Two and two the count. And that misses so it's a full count three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Sent out to play center field. And this will be pulled in just in front of the warning track for the first out. So one away now in the Minnesota third. And that will bring in Jorge Polanco to hit next. Now the one and one pitch is laid nope. off for ball two. Two and two. two ball. Hey, I'd like to two see strikes. a little bit more discipline in that. You get a count in your favor, and he's swinging a pitch that bad. Not good. The two two. Now here's the ball hit high and deep to straightaway right field, and he will make the play out there. And there are play now. Josh Donaldson digging in now. Struck out in his first at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Bases are empty here with two men out. And another foul ball. Again, a one-two. Ball. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. He knows it. You know it. Keep executing. And maybe get him to roll something over. Three and two now. Now the payoff pitch home. And he looks ball. at one that misses. Victory. And that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches now as he toughs out a walk. The right fielder. Striding in is Kepler. Max Kepler. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. A ball and two one strikes ball, now. Two strikes. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. To two, two balls two. and two strikes now. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Fouled off. Now another 2-2. Two -two. And it's fouled away. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Leading off the inning, it'll be Max Stassi as they'll look to spark the offense and even things up. Ball and two strikes to the Angels catcher. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. The throw into second. And he's able to hustle yeah, his yeah. way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. That is it. That's good. The plate now, Luis Rentifo. Angel shortstop behind in the count at a ball and two strikes. off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Not where he wanted that fastball to be and it's three and two now. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. 
batting done. So stepping the in is baseman. David Fletcher. David. Base knocked to the outfield could Fletcher. score the tying run from second. The 2 1 is fastball taken three. high for a ball. Well, he really wants to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Brandon Marsh trying here to plate the tying run from second. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Wow, I can't believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with the hanger. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Now back. Here's Juan Lagares. He's 0 for 1 Whoa. after grounding out in his only Whoa. trip to the plate so far. The set and the 1 1. All two. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Change up makes him jump a swing and a miss. You know, from a hitter's perspective, you get pounded in, and a nasty change up away is the mind. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. So the big bat of Miguel Sano digs in next, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. 1-1. One, one. Waves and misses for strike number two. two. Offered at that breaking ball below the zone, and that's a tough one to spit on. But the key is recognizing it coming out of the pitcher's hand earlier, two making sure two that strikes. it goes up before it comes down. More likely to be a hanger when that's the case. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. So the next to bat will be Nick Gordon grounded out in his last at bat. And a fastball flew it right by him, and there are two down. Into the box, Mitch Garver worked a walk his first time up. 1-1. One, one. Count is two and one. Two out, nobody on. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Racing back the center fielder. Gone! Stepping in now, Andrelton Simmons. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. The one and two pitch. To two balls and two strikes now. Two runs, three hits, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. Fly ball out toward left center field. No trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Phil Gosselin. You know, these next couple innings are really important for these guys. I know they're only down by a couple, but they need to get something going on offense to keep pace, even though it's early. And he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. Up next, the next it'll be Jared Walsh. Jared. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Two balls and a strike to the Angels' first baseman. The count now at 2-2. Two and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. Back. Back. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch-out. Jared Walsh goes down for route number two in the bottom half. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning.
Andrew Watts, a six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 60. Now it'll be Luis Arias, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. The 2 1 home. Doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. Well, ball three, and the Twins would love to get this inning started any way they could Eight. to get that leadoff guy on. Three balls, two strikes. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Payoff pitch one more time. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Standing in now, Byron Buxton. All even now, two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Right to him. The second for one. On to first, and they turn the double play. Next to dig in, Jorge Polanco. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. But we'll leave it right there as he strikes out, and that ends the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and standing in the rookie outfielder, Jose Rojas. The 2 1 home. Great AB up into this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Next up, Max Stassi. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. And that's been their only hit so far in this one. They've been dealing with some really great pitching in this game. Gordon is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Base is empty two away. And that'll bring up Luis Renjifo. Oh, and a half swing there on a pitch out of the zone. Indeed, it's strike two. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from five shutout innings. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. The plate now is the designated hitter, Josh Donaldson. He's set to lead us off in the sixth inning. The 1-1 one -one is taken for oh, ball two. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, you have to bring it in a little bit high in the air and deep to straightaway left. Gone to lead off the inning. At the plate, Max Kepler. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. This is flared right back over the mound. Barehanded at his oh. knees. Hats off to that one. Here's Miguel oh, Sano. He went down on strikes last time up. Miguel. Miguel. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. One out, nobody on. That's a ball. Outside and low that time. Now Correct it's two down. balls two and two. two strikes. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Number one. Now to back, yeah. Nick Gordon. No hits Gordon. to this point. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Hey! A hey, nice job of bouncing back after the leadoff homer. Two quick outs after the bomb, and he's got a chance to get out of this. Fastball laid off well below the knees. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Hit weakly back to the mound. 
Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. So now here is David Fletcher. He'll get things started here in the second half of the sixth. And that misses two and one. Now this guy has retired a whole slew right now. I think what he needs to do is just stay focused All and three. keep attacking the game plan like he has Rebel. up to this point because everything he's done has worked. Line drive to left. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Center fielder, number 16, Redman. Into the box, Brandon Marsh. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Chase there. They'll appeal it down to third, and no swing. It's ball two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Here's a blooper out toward left center. There to look it in is Simmons, one away. At the plate now is Juan Ligaris. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. No runs, two hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. Hit out toward second. He's got it. Simmons on the first. It's a double play as their woes continue. The inning is over. Seventh inning ready to roll. And now it'll be the catcher, Mitch Garver. The 1-1. One, one. been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter if he finds a way to get on base this could spell for a huge inning. line drive fair ball down the line running hard he's digging for second and he's going to get to second now with nobody out in now Andrelton Simmons and he gets him to pop it up the right side Field. Fletcher battles the son of it, but has it for round number one. Now and now back to the leadoff spot in the Twins Luis. lineup. Stepping Arias. in, Luis Arias. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. In the dirt here, runner holds as the count moves to two and one. He's ready now. The pitch. Swing and a liner. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. From the stretch. And he takes three, so it's a full count now. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Scooped up, and there's out number two. Here's Byron Buxton now. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Garver at third with two away. And he fouls this one off. Here's another one, two. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Swing and a miss as he chases one out of the zone for the third strike, and that's the third out of the inning. Now to the plate, Phil Goslin, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The 1-1. 
This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. Fouled away. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Now that. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Jared Walsh. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Now at the plate, here is Jack Mayfield. Fouled off. So far, this has been a terrific outing for this guy. Throwing well. Keeping his pitches to a minimum, locating his fastball to both sides of the plate, good command of the off-speed pitches, very little traffic on the bases. So far, he couldn't have grown up to be any better than he has been so far in this one. Up next for the Angels, the right fielder, Jose. At the plate now, Jose Rojas, and it's fouled away. Two two, he swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Your Jimmy Hergen has been summoned from the bullpen now, as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number forty six. So here is Jorge Polanco, who went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm on that pitch look for him to try and stay back a little bit more let the ball get a little deeper don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here Goslin comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first down next will be the designated hitter Josh Donaldson it was a solo shot for him in his last at bat swings through it for strike number two you have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're oh, just looking at place. either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. And he fouls this one off. Fouled away. Three and two now. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Fastball too high. Now ball four. Right fielder. Max Kepler. Swing and a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Now this is slowly hit to short, probably too slowly to get two. There's one. Next to hit, Miguel Sano struck out in his last trip to the plate. A two ball, one strike count to the Twins' first baseman. One pitch is a slider taken for a cold strike two. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks. And even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. Fouled off. Another try at 2 2. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. The payoff pitch one more time. Hit the other way out toward right field. Rojas will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Tyler Duffy is on to pitch out of the now bullpen in the bottom Minnesota. half of the eighth. Number 21. Tyler. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And next to hit is the catcher, Max Stassi. 
now the one and one pitch is looked at for ball number two. Two balls, one strike, the count. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. And he three. takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. That'll bring in Luis Renjifo. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Left side, but well fouled. Here's another 2 2. Again, he sends it out of play. 2 2 one more time. Hit out towards second. Uh, it's flagged down deep in the hole. Throw gets him two down. Up next, David Fletcher. The numbers against Tyler Duffy. Small sample, a perfect one for one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Pull that down. Bouncer to the left side. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. A.J. Ramos enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one, and that'll bring in the speedy Nick Gordon. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. Here it comes. Opposite field to left. Goslin has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Next up is Mitch Garver. Already a home run and a double for him in this one. Bases are empty, one man out. Cold hey. strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Digging in next, Andrelton Simmons. He's working on a one for three thus far. Hit out towards second. Reined in. Throw to first, beats him easily, and the side is retired. Alex Colomay comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Number 48. Alex. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And coming forward, the rookie outfielder, Brandon Marsh. Hey, not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs One ball, off a closer strikes, yeah. like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. Hey, you want someone sometimes to rattle the bat rack, but also the guy on the mound's got to eat, too. They're executing their pitches out there. It's going to be tough to score some runs. And a good throw gets him one gun. Digging in will be Juan Ligaris. No hits in three tries so far. He's once. To two balls and two strikes now. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. Stepping in now, Phil Goslin. Oh, had him off stride that time, one and ball, it's one and two. two He's staring a hat trick in the face right now after that swing. He has just got to find a way to zone up a little bit more. You cannot expect to make solid contact chasing stuff outside the zone. Full count, three and two. One out, nobody on. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now with the plate is Jared Walsh. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. 
one one. Angels down to their last strike. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. A bouncer up the middle. Simmons is there. On to first, and that's your ball game. Well, that's not exactly how you draw it up. He gave up a long ball to make it interesting, but it was the only run he gave up, and he hangs on to collect the save. Three to one, the final score this afternoon. Minnesota took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Michael Pineda is credited with the win. Shohei Otani was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious twins three runs six hits no errors they left six men on base for the angels one run four hits no errors they left four men on base.